I'm going to Italy. Hey, what's up? It was kind of like I'm just made scared. How are you doing? I'm talking kind of low today because still, it's not early, but my roommates are still sleeping. So I'm sorry. I'm trying to be considerate. It's my birthday. Well, it's not my birthday today, but it's my birthday when you're seeing this. And to start off this day, my birthday, I am going to a salon. I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting a pedicure. I'm getting a facial. Let me stop. Anyways, I really need to pick out an outfit. It has to be something that I can wear. I'm getting my pet here because I don't want like my pants to get down in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So maybe a skirt, maybe my skirt. That could be fun. Josh, mm. this is what we're working with. Shut give, me some, give, me some, <laughs> give me some applaud. Be like, ooh. Wow. Me. Okay. And the uh, the shorts. <laughs> Yay! Alrighty, we're. we're I'll see you guys when I get there. So here's how my experience is going so far. I got dropped off and I'm looking at the map and it says that it's right here except I don't see it. So this should be fun. I'm not entirely sure but I think I just figured out where it is. And you know what? That's something cool. I'm vlogging in LA, right? This is something I wouldn't do in Mississippi. I feel kind of normal, you know? I think I found it. Hello. just left, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I just left the salon. These are my nails, ooh, and I got a facial. My skin feels real soft. I would have shown you guys me getting the facial, but then I felt weird, so I didn't do it. Y'all can see the aftermath, right? I look, stop it. So I always thought that I had oily skin, and I was right. My roommates are both gone. I'm here by myself. I'm leaving for an international flight to a country I've never been to by myself for the first time. Also, my battery's dying. I am currently packing. What time is it? Hello? Oh, my phone's down there. It is currently 11.14. I need to be leaving this building at 5 a.m. Because <sighs> I want to be hecka early, okay? Like, hecka early for my flight. Gotta make sure we get everything packed. I have some stuff in the dryer downstairs. And I currently have some clothes that I'm picking out right now. Not necessarily picking out, like I know I'm taking them. But I'm gonna see if I can make them all fit right here in this nice little carry-on. If I can make everything fit in this carry-on, that'll make me a lot happier. And I'm also blasting Lizzie McGuire! because I'm heck nervous. The first time I'm going out of the country is also the first time by myself. Oh, okay, it's fine. Don't panic. Ah, I'm so excited. Suddenly I really have to pee. <gasps> Update, I'm laughing uncontrollably because I am both very nervous and excited. <laughs> I can't stop laughing, bro. Because I'm watching Lizzie McGuire and I'm like, okay, all this stuff that I'm seeing right there, I'm about to be in it. <laughs> Dear, I'm not all the way there. I gotta leave in like five hours. There's no way I'm gonna be able to sleep. There's so much adrenaline going through me right now. I didn't even feel that. I got everything packed. I'm trying to think what else do I need? And my portable charger is on 58%. I should eat a pear. This is gonna be the awesomest trip. I'm not gonna say ever, cause I do plan on taking more trips in the future. It's gonna be great. <laughs> said that one day I'm just gonna run away to Italy and now I have let me give y'all a rundown of what it took for me to get here I did kind of have a stressful trip let's start from the beginning all right I get to the airport I wake up super super early so I want to get there like four hours early okay I go to check in and I give the lady my passport I give her everything and then she asks me for my negative COVID test and so I hand it over and she says um uh, actually, uh, this test needed to be taken 24 hours before your flight within that time range And this was technically taken the day before I, I was like like what? She's like, yeah, it has to be 24 hours before your arrival. And I was like 
arrival. I thought it had to be 24 hours before my departure. So I almost cried. I almost cried right in front of that lady, but I didn't. I held it together. That is exactly what I went early for. So the lady tells me, hey, well, they're doing testing over on this street somewhere. So I, I leave out of the uh, out of the terminal. I'm walking down that little sidewalk up where all the terminals are. And I asked this lady, I see this lady. I'm like, yo, do you know where they're doing the testing at? And she's like, uh, I don't know. And I show her the address to the place the other lady told me. And she's like, oh, this is not even in the airport. Like that's way far away. yo my skin looks pretty good right now she's like that's not even the airport they're doing they're doing testing here in the airport somewhere so i'm like okay uh where she's like hang on come with me so i follow her and then she finds who i think were a group of flight attendants I don't know who they were, but I think they worked there. And they're like, yeah, they're doing testing at Terminal 2 and 5. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I go to Terminal 2, I'm looking around, I don't see nothing. So I asked somebody, I was like, you, do you know where they're doing testing at? And they was like, yeah, just go downstairs. And so I go downstairs and I see this man who's sitting at one of those desks. He looks up at me. Do y'all know how scared I was of this man? He was looking at me like, so I asked him, like, do you know where they're doing the testing at? He's like, it's gonna be over here. So he points over to another area. Like, it's gonna be over there, but they're not open yet. So I'm like, okay, they're not open yet. Now I'm gonna cry. Sign that says COVID testing. And so it, and it has like a little sign up thing. So I click on the little sign up thing. I look at the sign up. Luckily enough, they had COVID tests, like a, a rapid test antigen test that would only take an hour to get the results. And my flight was gonna be leaving at 1035. Okay, so I had to check in by like nine. In order to get my test back in time, I needed to get tested at like seven. And they had one more spot. Yo, I think I lost my nasal virginity that day though. That lady shoved that thing up to my brain. That was the farthest I had ever had a COVID test shoved up my nose. And it definitely was an odd experience. It felt like having a tampon in a crevice that I didn't know I had. My ticket said I was supposed to be boarding main cabin three. So I'm waiting for them to call main cabin three and I'm looking at the at the board and it says main cabin two, so I'm just waiting. And then I hear them talking, they're like, they're calling some name. It sounded like they said my name. I don't know, maybe there's another Clark because I'm not in main cabin two, so I was just waiting. I'm like, okay. And then the freaking board says boarding has closed. What do you mean? So I walk over to the lady. I'm like, yo, I was waiting for you guys to call main cabin three. Y'all didn't call it. They was like, we called for everyone. Like, what do you mean call for? I, I didn't hear y'all call for nobody. Lay over in Georgia. We sit there for a little bit. We board the plane. Everything's fine. They tell us the plane's broken. So you have to get off that plane and get on another one. But anyways, I've been traveling for like almost an entire 24 hours and I need to wash my face. I did not sleep at all. And surprisingly, it's not jet black under my eyes. Getting something in the morning, I wanna walk to the Chevy Fountain and get breakfast. I don't care how touristy it is, I'm gonna do it. All of a sudden, I'm really sleepy. <sighs> I just did my skin care. I would've showed you guys, but that bathroom is so tiny, like there's literally nowhere to put the camera. Okay, I'm going to quickly do my makeup. I'm trying to make my makeup look kinda sorta natural, cause like the, the European girls, their makeup, either, it like looks like makeup, but it also just looks really flawless and seamless. <laughs> Almost eight o'clock, gotta hurry up. Battery's dying, luckily I packed extra. I gotcha. Pan top, the skirt is heck go long. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put this on. I think I will, cute. And let's get out of here. stumbled across Barberini Gallery. This is pretty. Can I tour this place? I'm so confused. I don't want to just walk in there and they're like, oh, you stupid American. No, I'll come back. Pretty. So I'm back in my room. It seemed to have gotten a lot warmer since while I was outside. I went down the common area to see if there was anyone down there. Like maybe I could make a friend or something. And like everyone was down there doing homework or something. I don't know. There was this one guy who seemed to be on a business call or something. For real, I can't make friends till Thursday. That's ridiculous. So I didn't exactly know how I was going to format these videos yet. So I hadn't filmed an outro for this just yet. So I'll just say it right now. That was the first installment of my adventures in Italy. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know if you didn't, I'm so sorry. But if you did, be sure to leave a like, you know, love, some comment, blah, 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 blah. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, both of which will be linked down in the description down below. And let's close up again, which case there won't be. And definitely turn on notifications because you didn't see a whole lot of Italy in this vlog because I was still getting used to everything. But in future vlogs, I pretty much got it. <laughs> so stay tuned for the adventure. Until next time, my children. Ciao.